Hi there, my name is Letitia Finder and welcome to my channel. Today is a CAC event, so it's a creative arts collaboration. I haven't done one of their events in a while, but I'm really excited to participate in this one again, and that is hashtag love summer art. And it was actually the first one that I participated in last year. So I'm excited to be doing it again this year. Uh, this first video I'm doing was just kind of a freestyle painting. I just wanted to paint. So I got out a little canvas, which was, I believe, eight by eight, so it was pretty small. And I got out my acrylic paints, and I just, I thought about the theme a little bit, but I didn't have like a clear uh, picture or a clear inspiration for what I wanted to do. So I kind of just went with it, and I ended up painting the entire canvas black. And, I, and I'm just doing some flowers, some really colorful flowers. I was, I ended up being inspired uh, by the paints that I have. So I have some really interesting, brighter colors. One of them is a really nice blue, and you would have seen it in my uh, above ground uh, art supply haul last year. And I just, I got this uh, Illo Turquoise Light from Tri Art, and I, I really wanted to try it out in something. And it was beautiful so that's the blue that I'm using right now and it just it turned out lovely so I had that I also have like a fluorescent pink I think it's called fluorescent magenta and I was just really inspired by these colors I have a purple as well that I'll throw in there and I just it, they seem summery to me and when I think of summer I think of bright and beautiful colors and flowers and just happy things and I, I just I don't know what ended up happening with this black black background I just I like the idea of the contrast between the colors and then this this dark background so that's why I ended up naming this little painting a nighttime beauty because it's dark so like nighttime but it's still beautiful I guess <laughs> and uh, yeah so I just uh, when I was doing the stems here I think you just saw that I I had made the stem of that first blue flower way too thick, so I went in with my black paint and just painted it back over the green so that the stem was thinner. So that's a trick if you're working with like a black background especially. It's hard to do with any other color, but the black, it worked out pretty well. And I started off, you probably noticed with the blue, uh, doing the petals a little bit differently. And they weren't looking quite the way I wanted. These are starting to look more like uh, like those the dandelions when they get old and then you, we can blow on them and they fly away like the wish ones. Clearly I don't know anything about flowers so <laughs> they aren't real flowers that's just what they're reminding me of. So now the blue and the purple that I used worked really well to blend out the colors. It's actually a little hard to see um, in the video but there's a lighter color like there's a there's different shades of the color in there so I have I first put down the darkest color which you know the the darkest blue or the pink or the purple and then I layered in uh, the lighter color to kind of figure out where I wanted it and then I made a mid-tone I put that on top and then I layered the, the lighter color back on top so I have a dark a medium and a light tone in there and I was working with this this fluorescent pink it is really fluorescent like in person this paint is just it's gorgeous and it just isn't showing up on this black background it it's looking red so that's that's what you're picking up on camera and that's what it looked like in person too it was just uh, it wasn't working the way I thought it would so I tried to uh, spruce it up a little bit I made more of a mid-tone I made the mid-tone a little bit uh, bigger than I did on the other flowers and then I added in lots of lighter tones and I made that particular flower a little more detailed. It looks a little crazy <laughs> in the video. And that's just because that the camera isn't picking up all of the uh, all the mid-tones and everything, so you're not seeing the full depth of it. And you see it a little bit better when I'm tilting it all around, it doesn't look so crazy. And uh, you'll probably be able to see it better in the picture as well at the end. But I actually had a lot of fun doing this and it was so super simple and easy to do. It was just really relaxing. So. You know, go for it if you guys want to copy something like this. I think it's going to make a really good wall piece, and I'm going to put it up somewhere. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. And if you guys want to see more paintings, more creative things, search hashtag love summer art in the YouTube search bar. 
and you will find tons of videos from this year and last year from CAC members. I hope you guys are enjoying the start of your summer and until next time.